Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to review Aegon Pelasgians. This faction, this Trojan faction led by Deiphobos, uh, he is quite versatile and very good at charging hero. He can boost his attack, boost the charge and a lot of damage. He can boost another of his unit to be excellent charger and damage dealer or maybe he can bring enemies down so this is this hero is pretty good offensive hero uh, let's review his roster he is starting with militia warband uh, quite cheap uh, frontline fodder uh, they are quite weak and usually they are not performing so well instead you should uh, go with Trojan Warriors if you want to have some cheapest and the most efficient uh, fodder. Um, they are quite okay with charging and pinning down enemies. Now let's have a look on some solid uh, units instead. Uh, we have Pelasgian Spearmen. These are pretty okay and good at defending, even though their damage is quite of uh, smaller than other front lines, um, but you have you can switch weapon. If you do so, you are they are going to use armor piercing axe weapon uh, with pretty nice stats and very good charge. So I highly recommend using this two-handed mod when you are going to face more armored front lines or you are charging. And after you charge, you can switch back to the spear so they can hold for longer. Now the next unit is Pelasgian Axe Warriors. These guys are Axe unit with uh, special ability, Life of the Bronze. It gives them more damage. Uh, if you can boost in campaign the weapon damage, this can be applied. Uh, according to their stats and usage, you are going to use them as uh, kill line to support your spears and they are able to run around and fight for slightly longer because of strong vigor. As Trojans, we have light skirmishers. Uh, they have standard range and weak javelins. In early game, you are not going to face armored units, so I do not recommend using these. Instead, you can go with slingers. These have 170 range and quite good damage and ammunition. Uh, you will do slightly better with these guys. Next we have the Pelasgian slingers. They are trading their range for having more armor and slightly more ammunition, so these guys are better at dueling enemy missiles. So you can decide whether you want more range or better missile dueling power. Otherwise they have uh, almost same damage output, but the Pelasgian Slingers have more ammunition. So in total these guys will deal more total damage. And lastly, in early game we have Pelasgian Archers. These are decent. Uh, these, they are much better than the Achaean Bowmen. And they are much durable compared to them and have a lot of ammunition. So they are able to deal damage, but you need time for that. Let's move to the mid game. We have Shielded Spear Warriors, uh, which is the same that is used by Paris. They have okay, maybe below average uh, stats for the front line. But because of 200 mm mod, you, they can put their shields on back, be protected from your missiles, and do some nice charge damage. After a couple of seconds after charge, you, you will want to switch shields back so they can hold longer. Alternatively, 
you can use Pelasgian veteran spearmen. Uh, they are similar to other spears and spearmen, but they are very good at flanking. Even though they are medium, they have pretty good speeds. And when you switch weapon, uh, they are going to do a lot of pierce damage and much better charge. They can be used as frontline and as well they can be used as quite good uh, and damage dealing flankers and chargers. This is very versatile unit, you need to use them in the combat very actively. Next we have Pelasgian Veteran Axemen. These have uh, slightly more better, yeah, they have better stats. And on the top of that, they have plenty king and tech improved. They are pretty good kill line and flankers as well. With their good speed, armor and shield, they will do very well. Next we have Pelasgian Swordsman. Uh, this Trojan faction has uh, good heavy swords right in the mid game. They are going to hold, eat a lot of enemy projectiles and hold the ground very well. For, for missiles we got some good uh, javelins. Uh, they are going to deal a lot of damage against armored units even though they are quite slow so you need to be careful. Uh, for another arch missiles we have archers. Uh, these are standard same as Hector and Paris. So in the mid game pretty good archers. I would I would use them indeed even in multiplayer battles. Chariots. For chariots uh, Estrogens, we have Anatolian Chariots, they are slightly better than Echian ones, so they are going to do slightly better. Also we have Archer Chariots, uh, they are not so good in skirmishing and charging. If you want to charge with them you have to use uh, the melee mode, otherwise I would really want I recommend you the Anatolian Chariots instead. And now let's move to the late game. We got our Perlaschan Renowned Spearmen. These have pretty good stats. This is our top tier uh, unit. They are almost like Myrmidons. Uh, we might have... Uh, yeah, they have quite a good uh, weapon and very good charge. Uh, they are going to be used as flankers, chargers, depending on your enemy. Again, you switch to the two-handed axe uh, for more charge, more damage. They are able to cut through. And with such cutting power, they can uh, route enemies quite easily. For heavy frontline, we have uh, Pelasgian Sword Masters. These are very good uh, frontline, 50 defense, flanking defense, vigor. A lot of armor and shield. Look at their nice armor. They are going to hold ground very well. And people will not uh, realize that you are using swords as frontline. Everybody is expecting spears to be your frontline. <laughs> now let's have a look on the Deiphobos Chosen. This skill line is very good against swords and spears. And you can see a lot, a lot of abilities. So uh, the Relentless is giving him immunity to psychology when your hero dies, when some enemy hero is using uh, moral debuff abilities. These guys will ignore that. Instead, they are going to scare away enemies. Their javelins are handy. They can throw them and deal a lot of damage. So, what do we have next? We have the Pelasgian Veteran Archers. Uh, they are tier 4 unit, so you are not going to have the best archers in the game. But 160 range, 45 missile damage, good armor. These guys are solid 
and they have 90 models instead of 80 so I can assure you they will deal damage. Uh, maybe they are not a top tier, but they are solid, solid tier anyway. And lastly, we have heavy Trojan chariots. Uh, as a Trojan faction, we have the better chariots than our Achaean enemies, so we are going to do well. So, how are we going to use our roster? Uh, please get to use to that swords are your frontline and you can support this frontline with your kill line that one will do very well also at early game or in early of the battle as they drop javelins and you need to be really specific uh, what do you want to fight with the, the uh, Pelas Janarino Spears. They have very good weapon. You can uh, fight the enemy cavalry or, uh, or chariots, but if they have heavy units, you are going to cut through them. As standard, you can bring archers behind, and typical chariots, I would recommend combining chariots with your Pelas Spearmen. Or maybe, let's have a look if we have a better spear. Yeah, these veteran spears are faster. They also have planking attack improved. They would synergize with our heavy chariots slightly better. And they would deliver very nice charging uh, outcome. For missiles, most of your missiles are in your early game and mid game. And that is very good for your campaign, as you will have quite easy time. In late game, you are going to more rely on your infantry instead. Uh, in my opinion, this is quite well balanced roster. You have a lot of options, and each and you have a couple of units that are quite unique and specialized. So that's it, I hope you will have fun with Agan Plasians and see you later.